Hello guys, welcome back to Crystal Crust. We were doing the ballerina painting, the mini painting, and uh, in this video we're gonna do its part two. So we were at the blending step. We blend the background with the red, the orange, and the mustard shade, and after mixing and blending these colors we are gonna draw the ballerina the outline of its body you know um, the ballet dance it's have uh, different um, styles and different steps and they are beautifully exhibited by ballerinas and so I wanted to make one of those steps uh, so i decided to make the girl or the ballerina look like she's in the middle of a dancing and after doing the outline of the ballerina we're gonna paint it with the black paint and um, it will look like um, there is a kind of silhouette of ballerina in front of a bright light and that light is provided by our background that is in red and mustard color just fill the whole girl with the black poster now for hands make sure to move your hands really slowly um, to make her arms and especially the outlines just apply very little pressure and move your hands really slowly take your time on this step because you don't want to ruin all your efforts and uh, make sure you get that your paint doesn't get out of the boundary same goes for its space too I'm taking a very little tiny brush for her hands as you're seeing I'm applying multiple layers just so that my uh, shadow of the ballerina looks really fine the legs too it looks like one because uh, the one leg is behind and the other one is in front of it so when the shadow is formed um, they merge together and this is a very beautiful pose the ballerinas do while dancing Don't let yourself be bound to only one thing. You can always draw whatever you want. If you want to draw another step uh, of ballerina, any other style of her dancing, you can always go with that. You can check on Google or on internet anywhere um, ballerina steps or ballet dance steps and you can draw whatever you like. Now for um, some details and to cover up the space, I'm adding some grass. It kind of uh, gives a texture of shadow. Just apply very light strokes. Don't apply any pressure because you know the tips of the grass have to look pointed. So move your hands really slowly into the air. Move brush in the air and apply strokes in a straight way. We are done with the painting and the last step is to remove these squash tips. If you are uh, using those washi tips, uh, remove those and this is my favorite step because it provides a really beautiful boundary at the end and our painting looks so fine. And uh, we are done. I hope you guys like it. Please uh, check the first part too. And Follow the steps and try it yourself. Share with your friends. If you want to see my more videos and art, please hit the bell icon. Also, subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching. I'm applying another layer of the yellow, and we are done with our blending step part two of this video we're gonna draw that ballerina to the silhouette of the ballerina and paint it black to check that out please check the second part subscribe to the channel share with your friends thank you for watching